Well, we're pretty certain that temperatures will increase in the future coming decades. And so the impact of that increase in temperature on snowmelt and snowmelt runoff is um, critical, is very important to our water supplies in the future and stream flow. And um, the water in the upper Rio Grande is particularly important because it's already a water limited basin. Um, so the snowmelt runoff model has been used in 112 countries um, and is used right now all over the world to predict the impacts of climate change on um, stream flow and runoff. And uh, we wanted to test it in 24 different small sub-basins to see if they would react similarly or differently in the future to changes in predicted temperature. And we predict projected future conditions for warmer, wetter, warmer, drier, hotter, wetter, and hotter, drier changes in temperature. We calibrated the model to the 1990s, and then we looked out to um, a decade at the end of the century, so 2090 to 2099. One of the main findings of our research is that um, the stream flow will be um, one to two months earlier. The peak stream flow will be one to two months earlier, and it will be much lower in June, July, and August in the upper Rio Grande Basin. So there's a main major shift in runoff timing across the 24 basins that we studied. We also found that the total runoff volume will um, decrease in the future, and that's related to a decrease in the um, snowpack, the snow cover in future conditions. We also found that um, in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains of New Mexico that a lot of the precipitation that is now falling as snow will likely fall as rain in the future and that's um, also been observed by other researchers um, in recent decades. So the shift in runoff that I talked about will may make it more difficult for water managers, um, particularly in those warm summer months of June, July, and August when there's less water in the river. And so that will impact any of the beneficial uses of the water. So the agricultural down, uh, uses downstream, such as the Asakia communities. Um, it could also impact the um, communities downstream, some of the small villages, and the city of Albuquerque.